Hey, it's Straw Hat Sam here, and I want to introduce you to the Vulture. The Vulture is a six inch mini quad, but I want you to think of it less as a mini quad and more like a miniature Cinelifter. The reason why is because I feel that oftentimes with mini quad frames, they are merely freestyle frames that are adapted for use with carrying cameras like the GoPro, and their general design doesn't begin with the camera. But for the Vulture, I had a very specific goal in mind for creating this drone, and that is for it to work with the Sony RX-02 camera. I figured if I could create a high-powered mini quad drone that could carry this camera without creating any jello at all, then that would serve as a pretty good mini quad for other applications as well, like GoPro. Well, as it turns out, not as it only a good platform for small action cameras like the Sony RX-02 and GoPros, but it can also be used with smaller cinema cameras as well. So I call this a mini Cinelifter because I hold it to the same standards, if not more so than uh, traditional Cinelifters and the Pigeon and the Puffin. I created an anti-vibration mount that uses mechanical isolation as opposed to materials like alpha gel or beta gel, which allows for a mechanically solid design with the ability to be used with larger cinema cameras, but also have the dampy characteristics to accommodate super sensitive cameras like the RX-02. The Sony RX-02 is especially susceptible to rolling shutter distortion, exacerbated by the tiniest of vibrations. So it was absolutely crucial for me to get the camera mount correct. An important feature for me is the quick release camera system, which allows any camera to click on and off using this 3D print that you can print yourself. I really wanted this feature because out in the field with a backpack full of gear, sometimes it's not convenient to have your camera always attached to your drone. Being able to attach it and remove it quickly can be crucial in certain environments. And not only can it carry cinema cameras, but you can also use it as a Cinewoop as well with these optional prop guards I also sell on my website. These guys are made out of extruded nylon tubing and polypropylene 3D prints which allows for toolless installation and removal for the fastest workflow on set when switching between cameras. A common issue that I feel most propeller guard systems have is that they're made out of carbon fiber, which although is nice and rigid, can still cause personal or property damage because they're sharp. Because these are made out of lightweight nylon tubing, they both have the durability and stiffness required of a propeller guard, all while having a smooth and bumper-like surface to protect talent and property on set. The second major goal with this frame, other than being suitable with the Sony RX-02, is something that's more versatile and can be used in a variety of situations other than traditional mini quad FPV scenarios. An issue that I see in the cinema FPV world is having a multitude of drones for different applications, but sometimes you can't really bring all these drones with you along with all their different types of batteries. Now, as far as the airframe itself, I had all these requirements for this drone and it all kind of flowed naturally with these vertical side plates, inverted motors, and dual purpose landing gear. This frame looks quite different than most FPV mini quad frames, and that's because it's designed with form follows function philosophy. I wanted something that was smooth, fast, compact, lightweight, and multifunctional, and this is what I came up with. If you're interested in learning more about the Vulture, check out my other videos in this YouTube playlist. I have a frame assembly instructions video, components installation guide, as well as a design overview, talking about why I made these design choices to make the Vulture what it is now. And of course, to purchase this frame, check out my website linked down below in the description.